ni msitu. Kwa nini? Msitu ina iko na chemichemi za maji ndio inafanya mvua inanyesha na inaleta rutuba kwa mtongo. According to the Constitution of Kenya, there are three requirements to be registered as a voter. What are these requirements? You have an ID and a Kenya citizen. You have to be over 18 years. Mm -hmm. At least you have to be in that constituency or that county mm -hmm. for more than 45 days. Mm -hmm. And you have to be a citizen of Kenya. One must be 18 years and above, must possess a national ID or a passport, mm -hmm and must have resided in the area where they are registering not less than 10 years. Or to vote. Another qualification is you should It's now Solomon's turn to meet the judges. I applied for this competition because it's about leadership. We need leaders and I felt like I have these qualities and I, I need a chance to lead. Hi Solomon. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Pole kwa safari. Asante. We understand you got here at midnight? Yeah. Why do you want to become a leader? I want to become a leader because I have a vision. I have a purpose. My vision is derived from the needs of the society I live in. I come from Mombasa County. The county is faced with various problems. We have drug problems. We have a situation whereby people are not at ease with their, their citizenship, they're in doubt. They have that sense of victimhood. So I want to become a leader because I want to change this. One of your greatest fears, you said, was if others succeed in places where you have not tried. Okay, first this has hounded me so much because I'm 24 at the moment. My passion is writing. I write poetry, I also write short stories. I tried writing a novel, but I never went through. But I usually rate myself with the young people from other countries. Rihanna is my age, if you know her. She succeeded from 19. I have the passion of writing. I can write good songs, as good as she writes. But I fear that I fail. Tell us about your leg, what happened? I had an accident, an injury, a football injury. I was 11, I was in class 4. It was in 1999. So I had this injury and I never got good medical attention. Two weeks later, I lost the sense of touch. It was some sort of paralyzed. The second, che the second check at the hospital proved that the fracture had been infected, so I had to be amputated to save my life. Yeah. Thank you. I want the poem. You want the poem? Yes. Okay. Our path are darkened. From dawn to dusk, we grow up in darkness, seeking for the way out. Our children are hopeless. Our mothers are dying, and yet we struggle on, hoping that daytime will come. Yeah, that was. Good luck with your writing. Thank you. Keep it up. Thank you very much. We're finished. Thank you. That was very Thank good. Thank you very much. I really like the poem. It went on quite well. I'm happy with how I did it. Only that when it came to the poem, okay, I wasn't prepared to deliver a poem, but I'm, I'm proud of myself. It seems that each of the contestants certainly has something to say. But obviously, in a way, they only know better. I still want to know what's under the hat. Under the hat? Mm. <laughs> yeah, like no. I'm a shiny ambia higher. So okay. sad. Oh, you, want, you want to see? Yes. Can I see? She's curious. No? She's just curious. I'm just curious. All right. That is private. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All so right. Here is private. You know, if I, if I go on without without a hat, mm. I'll influence uh, other people to do that. Because my hair is, is, is so good, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Mira employs a lot of people. It uh, makes some people um, sort of indolent and mm -hmm. sort of just completely lazy. Mm -hmm. What do you think should be done about things like Mira? You'll find them puffing. You'll find them with balls, with balls of Mira. So for me, what 
I, I, I actually totally object, totally, and I think there must be policy to govern it. So, you, so your problem is how much of their income they're spending, they're spending on Mira. On no, no, so no, if no. they were wealthier, uh -huh. they could spend the 500 and have the ball in their mouth. No, no, no. That's, what, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, it just beats logic to, these are, these are like people who are younger than me, like 18 even. Well, boy, you want to take away their money? No, no, no. I want their money to be used for something economically viable. They get into youth groups, they invest that money, they, they even buy motorbikes for those who can't, mm -hmm. and then with time they, they, they even start giving back. But thank you very much for your input. Thanks for coming in. Now that the first round of auditions is done, the judges have to come up with a list of 12 contestants who will proceed to the next round. The auditions end late and the judges are forced to burn the midnight oil to deliberate on who the 12th moving to the next round will be. Kirinyaka, we had Jamlek, Irene. Okay, who stood out? For me, it would be Kirima. And I also selected Kirima. Okay. I said that. So we're done with Kirinyaka? Good start. We have. Okay, Mombasa, I had two. Okay, you want to start I the had fight three. Now? You had three. I think also for the sake of affirmative action, mm -hmm. if that adds, if that works. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, maybe it would be a tiebreaker. I think it would be a tiebreaker. Yeah, okay, okay fine. All right, so we have, we have two in Mombasa. From there we go to Kwale. Kwale was a little bit tricky. Mm -hmm. I, my first guy was Joab. My alternative is Rashid. Can you see Daniel on the podium? You know, it would be interesting. You know, this, this is the, one of the other questions. Um, because we're forcing them to speak in either English or Swahili, you know? Mm. If suddenly he was allowed to speak in Kima and had a translator there, I'm sure he would have been Maybe, firebrand, yeah, yes. you know? Though someone else I felt the same about. Day one comes to an end as the judges are still working out who the 12 will be. All contestants meet the next morning to hear the judges' verdict. Who are the 12 moving to the next round? Hello contestants. Hi. How are you feeling today? Good. Congratulations for making it this far. Thank you, thank you. As your judges, we are very, very proud of you um, for being part of this audition, for getting this far, and for, coming, for all the work that you've done to be here today. We were impressed and we bonded with all of you. Unfortunately, we can only take 12. A little heartbreaking, and very difficult to come up with the 12, but we tried our very best. And we, as, so 12 of you will stay with us, and the rest of you, you will go home, but not as losers, but as more experienced, experienced warriors of leadership and change. And my hope is that when you watch this show, you will continue to be the people that you said you were. So for the 12 that we select, we'll have to say congratulations. And... Now we go to the announcement. Moranga County. M County, baby! <laughs> the person we selected from Moranga County, Caroline Wangare. Taita Taveta County. The person we selected was Kezia Tadija. <laughs> Mombasa County. And the person that we selected from Mombasa County, Solomon Mudera. Machakos. When ye kutoka ze juki dogo ni buana Felipe o Pio. Nairobi County. This is among the harder ones to choose. The person we selected is Herman Muragori Kiriko.
So from Kilifi County, we have Nyasaidi Atman Fanua. Mwisho Naro. Mi bi nyamalo Gladys Naisom Ongera. Okay, Kajiado County. The person going to the next round. Linda Jabet Chuma. Thank you, Kerenyaga County. You did a very good job. And from this county, the person going to the next round. Dishon Kirima. Kwale. Mwene kuvuka hapo, ni buwana arashi ogisare. For example, we have Catherine Jerry Mwangi. With 12 of them having made it through the first audition round, we ask contestants what they feel about the judges' decisions. I'm going to try to come up with like um, a list of all the things I've learned from this experience. I didn't expect to reach this place, despite I had confidence. But I see the other contestants was much better than I. Na matarajio ya kwenda mpaka mwisho wa shindano hili. Don't feel like a loser because I have made it to this stage. When you don't win, you have to be graceful. I'm feeling happy, a bit overwhelmed by the news, to know that I topped the whole of Kiambu County. We now move on to the next round, where the 12 contestants will be given a task to undertake. From this round, only four finalists will land the coveted chance to proceed and meet their counterparts from the other regions in a leadership contest. Wapinzen. Congratulations for getting to this round. Hongera okufika katika round ya pili. But we still have to choose just four finalists. You will be put into a scenario, a disaster scenario. You will have to make a decision based on this scenario, who to save. More information on this table. Remember what is at stake. Eight of you will go home. We cannot discriminate the chase on places of air. He is not creative. We need to agree on who we are dropping, who we are retaining. Coming up next, things get heated as the contestants undertake the task. We are in a Loy Talk Talk with the remaining 12 contestants for the second round of the audition. They are doing a task involving a disaster scenario. As the task begins, Solomon volunteers himself to become the chair. We need time to deliver it, so we should say like the last two minutes mm -hmm. should be for deliberation. Then you've got the first 15 minutes, you read through what you've got, mm -hmm. then you try to you know absorb it. And the last 15 minutes, the, the other 15 minutes, you make a decision, then we cannot deliver it. Mm -hmm. okay, so we... You and 20 members of your community have survived a deadly bomb blast. There are 20 survivors in a devastated area, and the contestants read the profiles of these survivors. Each survivor has a strength and a weakness, and the task of the contestants is to choose only 10 survivors 
that can be used to rebuild the community. Contestants have only one hour to come to a consensus. The judges will be looking out for decision-making, leadership, communication skills, teamwork, and ability to accommodate another person's opinion. Given the mix of personalities, things are bound to get out of hand. Who has a terminal illness, but otherwise move crowds. If I may chip in, first and foremost, we also have to make sure all of us have understood what we're supposed to eliminate. Yeah? It's a good thing that each of us will have to look at uh, each of these individuals yeah. uh, one by one. One, I think we need fairness so that each and everyone will have an equal opportunity of time. The form should go around for, the, for other contestants to see what the names are. Instead of still discussing and time is moving, please make sure this other, uh, the, the list is going around for other people to see. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. Kindly make, the, I, make, okay. make sure the list is going around. Okay. Order. Shama, we only have two lists which has the instructions. We are 12 of us. Why don't you work six? six? Let us take two opinions and then we embark on the time. Mr. Chacha, he has not spoken. You will be second after him. I think the solution is this. Yes. We read the personality of one person first. We discuss it. Yes. We introduce our views. And then if we eliminate him, we eliminate. If we take him, we take him. Yes. The second time. How many second him? I do. I second him. I second him. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Number one, uh -huh. a 65-year-old nuclear science expert who is tribal, tribal, tribalistic, very proud and arrogant and thinks of helping his tribe only. Mr. Chairman, one reason is this. We have to reconstruct the society. Mm -hmm. This person is 65 years old. Mm -hmm. The other reason is that he has capacity to develop um, a nuclear uh, weapon that can again claim the own community. In my opinion, therefore, I don't go for that person. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ms. Kia, what do you want to say? As for me, I don't think if they could have a nuclear weapon, I don't think if they could have a nuclear weapon, I don't think if they could have a nuclear weapon, I don't think if they could have a nuclear weapon, I don't think if they could have a nuclear weapon, I don't think if they could have a nuclear weapon. You don't allow him. You're not voting for him. So we are how many who have voted for? Okay, my, my opinion at this time is that let him who will survive the catastrophe leave. The task is very clear. You have a decision to make yeah. on yeah. 10 people only. I don't know whether that's a good proposition. Yes. 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 And if I, yes. with, all, with all due respect, if I may chip in, Bona Chairman, with all due respect, here this is a catastrophe. We are being given targets that out of the 20, 10 have to go for the rest, for the 10 to survive. So for the 10 to make this community go on, rather than wasting time, re well, we retain the whole 20 and the whole community is perished. We, ha we don't have any options. 10 have to go for the community to survive. I don't think we need this, this carpenter because he has the skills, but he's a potential threat to, to, the to the society because he's a murderer. If we save 10 people and he kills three. He has served for his vices. So I propose that the fact that he has already paid the penalty he should leave. Through the chair. Through the chair, a lady. Still, this man is on the run for murder case. Yeah. He's on the run for murder case. For murder case. So on the run doesn't mean that that person is there. He's as good Mr. as dead. You can outsource for skills, but you cannot outsource for our uh, for other things. Yeah. Okay. Last opinion uh, before you make a vote on that. Thank you, Mr. Chair. You see, Mr. Chair, this young man is escaping. He will not even develop the economy because he will be still escaping. He will not use his skills because he will be escaping. At the same time, he raped a child. We have saved a 14-year-old girl. How sure are you he will not rape this girl, affect her mentality, and the society won't move on? I, my, my opinion is we should get rid of this preacher and we yeah, I think you've made your point that we've had some time to yeah. brainstorm on this. So if we have time later, 
Solomon seems to be losing control and someone tries to intervene. Chairman, I think, okay, you, need, I think, I think you need a bit of help controlling this yes. team okay. because we have less than nine minutes yeah. and we have more than enough time. 12, uh, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Let's straight ahead. One person reads, we take a vote. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, gentlemen. If you have some doubt that he should leave, you, you should only make two choices. Temperatures yeah. begin to rise with the winding of the clock. We are a team. We need to agree on who we are dropping, who we are retaining. The problem is we do not have time. Excuse me, gentlemen. Time doesn't matter. You are not just going to push things because of time. We need to liberate. You are the chairperson, but you need to liberate. You can't just say yes, drop. If I don't agree, you are not going to push me to say yes. Excuse me. Chairman, okay, we have five minutes, but you are not going to speak. Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. It doesn't matter even Just if you have two down, minutes, but down, you're not going to skip down. questions. Number 18 has not been read. Excuse you're going to number 19. Excuse How do you tackle number 18? Yeah. Okay, so the problem is a question has been skipped. Number 18. Okay. 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 okay, one minute is already gone, gentlemen. Let us move on. Uh, excuse me, delegate number 5 and number 14. One minute. Can we have four of them? Excuse me. Guys, can we have four of them? Let us have a solution here. We have got all girls who's retarded. Jamila, you're not cooperating. We have 15 people there, safe. We have less than one minute. Give your solution. It's me on the floor. It's me on the floor. I've not finished my point. You're cutting me short to give another person a point. I need to get my point through. Let's not. And Kazia is not satisfied with things. Give it point. Give it chance to finish. Please, you're pushing. We shall vote for your silence. The task ends in a heated argument. What do the judges have to say about what they observed? How the task was being carried out became so important than what the task is about. Kezia, she almost threw the meeting. I think she. Uh, I think we all know that she was one of our favorites going in. Yes. Yeah. She's strong and she knows her stuff and she was concerned that time was running out. Mm -hmm. I wonder what made Solomon choose to be the chair. That's the most difficult thing. In fact, I think he should start with one point ahead for, for accepting that responsibility. Because being a chair is not easy, as he realized. People got intellectually engaged with the problem, solving the problem, and they also got engaged over time with the process mm -hmm. and with the time ticking down and things. And yeah. I think these, that was part of the dynamic. Yeah. But I have to say that going back to the criteria of teamwork and also made me think back to the interviews yesterday, mm -hmm. that the profile of some of the quieter people started coming up mm -hmm. more and more as mm -hmm. time went on. Yes. Mm -hmm. The judges are ready with their final decision. Back. How hard was that? <laughs> Discuss it when you're out there. Yeah. Solomon, now you have new respect for chair people, huh? Can you hear someone is the chairman of NHIF and he's been thrown off? You have a new respect for chairman, do you? How was that experience? I know, it was amazing. Kema, for you? What was your experience? It was good. It was a bit stormy. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, the debate began here and it was more extended outside. <laughs> <laughs> so going on to the next round, the first person, we had, not, the, not in any particular order, just names on a paper. We have Felipe Opio. Next, we have Solomon. And we have Kezia. Definitely not least, um, the fourth person going to the next round is Herman. Congratulations for the work done, guys. All the very best. We'll all be watching the four of you. From the four of you, I actually honestly believe we have the Wongozi winner. I never imagined that maybe I'd be among the top four here. It wasn't about really winning to me. It was just about especially meeting smarter people. I'm very confident. I couldn't believe I could be here. I just thank my colleagues for the support. 
and the push to keep on pushing for what we want to realize in our lives. Uongozi campaign niliona ni mzuri hata imenifanya nikafika mahali yenye sijawahi fika nimekutana na watu wenye sijawahi ona hatujakutana kaunti yangu yenye nimetoka ningependa kuambia wa waungane na nini uongozi program My main aim apart from even contesting was growing intellectual at the end of it all for have to be selected What's very gratifying for me as an individual as a Kenyan is to see how many um, young and not so young Kenyans are, are prepared to share their leadership ideas and are ready to take up the mantle. Because there, there were tough choices to be, make, to be made, but I hope we pick the best and I really believe that the winner is going to come from here. After an intense series of auditions, the final four from the Aloy Tok Tok auditions have been chosen. They will go on to battle out with 12 other contestants and each one of them will have one task in mind to convince Kenyans that he or she is the leader Kenya is looking for. Join us on our next show as we head to Garissa. This is Uongozi. want to change the leadership of our country? Remember, the power lies in your hands. Register as a voter today and choose the leader you and Kenya deserve.